Hey, welcome to Jotbot. I'm Derek, one of the co-founders, and I'm making this video to give you a quick overview of writing and researching in Jotbot. So writing in Jotbot has a bit of a learning curve to really use all of the features, but if you're looking for something specific, feel free to skip around. And if not, watch the whole video and you'll get a really good idea of how you can take advantage of Jotbot's features to help you write faster, write better, and research more. So to start off, you'll see that as you're writing, Jotbot's gonna jump in whenever you get stuck and give you send suggestions in your document. If you wanna accept these suggestions, all you need to do is hit tab or click one of these buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept this suggestion. Then as you write, it functions just like a normal document editor. When you stop writing, it'll give you another suggestion that you can suggest and get you to that next thought a lot faster. Something else you can do is to hit command J to use an AI command. What an AI command is, is you giving Jotbot a prompt to make an edit or generate some text directly inside your document. So I'm gonna hit command J. You can also click customize here or just click AI command on the top left. When I hit command J, a little menu is gonna pop up where you can write a custom prompt. For example, I'm gonna ask, write two sentences about the history Mason. Go ahead and click submit there. And Jotbot is going to give me the two sentences that I asked for. You can go ahead and accept or deny that. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And you can see it just shows up as normal text within your document. Um, and it also recognizes what's before and after your cursor. So it's going to generate text that has to do with the rest of your document. You can also use AI commands to edit your document. So maybe I don't really like these two sentences. I can go ahead and highlight that text and click AI commands. From here, I can ask Jotbot to make this longer, make it shorter, or type a custom prompt. So I'm going to ask Jotbot to write a paragraph about this. And it's going to go ahead and replace that text with an entire paragraph that has to do with Fort Mason's history. From here, you'll see that as I highlight this text, it also pops up on the right. And this is a great introduction to the AI chat, which essentially is kind of just like ChatGPT, but with context in your document. So you'll never need to copy paste or tell it exactly what you're working on. It's gonna understand what's in your document and how it can help you, as well as any text that you're selecting. So I have this text selected and I can go ahead and ask it to shorten this text. Maybe I think it's too wordy. Jotbot is gonna give me that suggestion and it's gonna give me a few options that I can choose from. So I kinda of like this option, looks the shortest just off, uh, off of a first glance. And in order to add it to my document, again, you don't need a copy paste. All you need to do is hit this insert at cursor and it's gonna insert that directly into your document. You can also use this drag to editor feature, which is just going to add that straight into your document wherever you need it. So whether you're working on an essay, a research paper, some sort of blog post, a really powerful way to use Dropbot is by finding external sources. On the top right here, there's a find sources button, but my favorite way to interact with sources is to highlight something, for example, this paragraph, and click find source. And this is automatically gonna start searching the web for sources and files that are somehow related to whatever you highlighted. So I can scroll through these sources here and see if I find anything interesting. I like this, it talks about how Ronald Reagan hallucinated during World War II. Sounds interesting, don't really know what it is. I'm just gonna ask Dropbot to get quotes by clicking this button. And you can see it got added to the chat on the right, and now it's reading through the document and getting me some related quotes that I can use in this paper that I'm writing. So it's gonna give me some quotes that I can use in my document, as well as some explanation on how it has to do with my document in the first place. So you can see this quote mentions that Ronald Reagan worked at Fort Mason during World War II. That's pretty interesting. So you can use these quotes if you want, drag them into your document, you can use them as context, and you can also follow up. How can I use these quotes in my document? 
And Dropbot's going to go ahead and use the context of your document, as well as the sources and quotes, and give you an answer based off that. So you might already have some external sources that you need to use, or some files that you've already found and you want to reference in your document. You can do that by adding some sources with this button here to the AI chat. So I already have a source that I added. It's a website that talks about the history of Fort Mason. I can go ahead and click that to add it to chat. From here, I can do things like find quotes, summarize, cite. I'm gonna go ahead and click cite source. Um, and it's gonna give me the citation in MLA format. You can also type any custom prompt you need. And the AI chat will just function as a normal chat with context on whatever you're writing, as well as the sources that you add. So in summary, we went through a bunch of different things. We talked about AI autocomplete and how it'll give you suggestions in your specific document. You can also use command J to generate new text or edit some of your previous text. You can also do that by clicking AI commands. You can also use this AI chat on your right to edit or generate new text as well as any general research questions that you might have. Research in Jotbot is super simple, but super powerful. You can use find sources up here to search for relevant sources, as well as by highlighting text to find specific sources that have to do with what you're writing about. On the right, you can use this add sources button to upload any sources that you already have, cite them, and see how they're connected to your document. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you still have any questions, feel free to email us. The email is going to be in the description of this video. And we really hope that you enjoy writing and researching in Jotbot. Thank you.